All right. Good morning. Morning. Um, thank you, Malik. Absolutely. Thank you um, for sharing with us this morning. Um, I am Dr. Nathaniel Curry. I'm the director of our youth housing program and clinical services here at SMILE. And I definitely want to say, take one second to say thank you and out of appreciation to my full team, I have a wonderful team that was really dedicated to the mission of providing youth housing and really seeing clinical services expand in our community, specialized clinical services expand in our community. So um, thank you to them, and it's especially to our case manager, our social worker, Morgan Carrillo, who works every single day with our youth, every single day, and on call, answering her, the pager and the phone around the clock. So thank you, Morgan, and thank you, everybody, for that. I chose SMILE as my practice environment because of an overwhelming sense of community. The community, uh, able, so the ability to create a community in the workplace and the extended community with our family here um, at our brunch and in our other community events. I chose SMILE as my practice in environment because of the warmth and intelligence that greeted me right from the beginning from our executive director, Sultan Shaker. Absolutely, and I, I chose it also because the invaluable work that we do of building community, and that's what we're doing here right now, is this is an opportunity to build community for young people but within ourselves alike. And so community building, which is what we do here, is how we empower so many of our youth that benefit from our programs or reside in our youth house. As a social worker, I can tell you that some of the most powerful ways we can empower a community is by attending to a person's needs by teaching them how to be self-sufficient. That's teaching them how to be self-sufficient, right? Not just giving things. And that's what we do in our program. And by allowing them to have the opportunity to build and gain meaningful, healthy relationships. And so we can really see that manifest in our community um, and in our youth house already. We're seeing the results already. And so um, a very wise drag queen by the name of RuPaul once said that <laughs> as gay people, we get to choose our families, right? And that's what our youth house has been able to do. It's we, what we've done with our youth is given the opportunity to build their own families with their friends, their peers, mentors, and other people who are supportive in the community. 